welcome back to my channel. Happy December! I hope you guys are already feeling that festive, magical holiday vibe that I feel like December always brings with it. Um, thank you guys so much for, I don't know if any of you guys saw the description below my last video where, thank you guys for being patient that I was kind of taking the weekend off on the Thanksgiving weekend because it was my birthday and my amazing husband um, ended up booking us a hotel based off some of our points in St. Petersburg, Florida, which is a beautiful spot in Florida if you have ever been there. It is stunning. If you haven't gone, highly recommend. And we just kind of had a nice birthday holiday weekend. It was a four-day weekend for us, so it was really nice. And I just kind of like took a little time to decompress, kind of connect with my husband, take a little time, and then start the week fresh with December. So hi, how you doing? Have you started decorating yet? I have made myself wait to wear this sweater. It says I'll be home for Christmas, and it has like a little tiny house with a tree on it because you guys know or if you're newer here you may not know I live in a tiny house a tiny house on wheels and my beauty space <sighs> is tiny and right now I have so much stuff on my desk because I'm gonna go through today my faves and fails but really I don't have a lot of fails to talk about in this particular video so be subscribed and hit the bell because my next video is lined up here on my beauty desk and it is a lot of stuff I'm decluttering. A lot. We're talking drugstore, things that at one point were in my faves. I know, I'm shocked too. Um, and I know there's some Ipsy stuff. I don't think I actually have any boxy stuff. I don't think I actually have any boxy charm stuff yet, or at least not this time. But I have a lot that I'm going to be decluttering. I let you guys know kind of in the beginning of fall, I was seeing some things that I wasn't touching, wasn't reaching for, or I was having to make myself do that for videos to kind of compare or contrast. And the reality is, is my beauty space, which is also my office space, because I'm a full-time employee at a company that I work remotely for. Um, it's getting a little chaotic in here, so we are going to clean it up. But today, today we're going to do a fun old faves and fails, but mostly faves because a lot of the fails are in that video. So be subscribed, hit the bell so you don't miss that upcoming video. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have a book, and I've told you guys about this book in the past. This is my hatch book. I write down everything for my videos that I'm going to be doing or planning or upcoming. And for some reason... I don't know if it's just because this has been such a busy year end. I did not write down a thing. Not one thing. Not a fave. Not a fail. Not a lifestyle thing. I had ideas for shout outs because I love to do shout outs in these videos because you guys are always my favorite part of the month. But I'm just like, how did I not write down anything? So really what I'm going off of is my genuine current in the moment what I reach for every day favorites. Even stuff I took with me to travel over the four, four day holiday weekend. I'm talking about some of those things. Things that I'm gravitating to to make my makeup look beautiful but it's fast, it's easy, it's quick, and it's stunning which is exactly what we need, right? I feel like sometimes because I've been doing these fun little intros that are kind of vloggy style showing you what I'm reaching for a lot in those beginning intros, you may already know some of these things but because I haven't really articulated it in this kind of sit down video, you may not know that I am still loving and only using right now for a foundation. Yeah, only using, only using for a foundation. And I have a collection. The CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless Foundations. But I've been lately combining one that I previously had with a newer shade because can anybody else feel me on this? I'm one of those in betweeny shades. I don't think there is such a thing as the perfect Nicole skin tone because, one, my skin does tend to fluctuate with any kind of sun. Um, I get paler easier, I get darker easier, and then I'm in these always in betweeny stages. So, right now, I am loving combining these two for a better color match. This one is in the shade 240 Natural Beige, and this one over here is in 250 Creamy Beige. I have been combining these two and really enjoying it. I think this gives me a very natural look. It kind of does that medium to you could build it to full, and there are days 
days that if I'm not going to be on camera, if I'm just running around doing work stuff, I'll just do a medium coverage. And I still like the way it looks. It makes my skin look great. And I'm really happy with that. And it does last and it doesn't like bunch into any of my fine lines. Or if I'm making one of those expressive face days, it doesn't bunch and stay there. I really love that about this formula. I'm so happy that CoverGirl did go cruelty free so I could jump back into some things because there is one other thing I want to be talking about from CoverGirl that I just haven't been able to have for a long time. So super happy with these still. Again, I know you've probably seen them in my fast forwardy vloggy style intros, but I haven't talked about them in a minute. So wanting you to know this is the only, only foundation I am using. To kind of piggyback off of that, the only concealer that I have been using is one that really does well for my under eye. Because I do tend to be very expressive and I can get lines and crinkles and crepiness really easily. But the Too Faced Born This Way concealer is one of my favorites. The shade I use is Porcelain. A lot of you have actually asked me specifically about concealers or what's my shade for this particular concealer or what am I reaching for right now that we've kind of gone, you know, into winter. Is it is it still good for me? I still really like it. And yeah, it is cold here in Florida. I know comparatively that is subjective, but like this morning it was in the 40s. Right now it just got up to 53. So I am, I think I'm getting that Florida blood where it's thinning out a bit because I'm like, I'm freezing. I'm putting on a sweater and pants and boots. But yeah, even as it's kind of getting a little bit drier, my skin is kind of doing a little bit more of that drier thing that it's doing right now. This is still working great. So this particular product was in a second chance video with me because I was convinced I was going to get rid of it. And really because of you guys, I gave it a second and third try. And now I'm back to the point where I traveled with this product. I've been using it a lot and it's a brow product. And I have a ton of brow products thanks to BoxyCharm, Ipsy, my own shopping. But the Brow Gal by Tanya Crook, the trio here, this is the Convertible Brow 02. This powder does a great job. I usually just dip into the medium shade and the dark shade to kind of like start my brow look and then I jump into my iconic London brow sculpt kush boost thingy. But this I can even do on my very minimal days where I'm just doing like one shellacking coat of foundation on my face when it's one of those basic days and just use this brow powder and kind of just go about my day. I have really loved the simplicity of this and the ease of it. I can't believe how good this still is and I've had this for a hot minute. But again, it kind of fell off my radar because I wasn't into powders for so long. I was into pencils or to those, you know, creamy, boosty, whatever things that they're coming out for brows because brows are like the thing the past few years. It's just the process for me that I got to get through in the morning. I have been reaching for this over and over and been traveling with it. So I just had to mention that this is the fastest, easiest way I can do a brow without thinking about it. So you guys saw I did a recent like makeup I've hit more pan on update and um, I feel like by, I don't know, January, I'm gonna have to do another one of those videos because I'm hitting even more pan on some of those products and other products because you guys know I live in a tiny house, a tiny house on wheels, so I really wanna use and love everything in my collection. And something that I have been working on for over a year and a half, maybe two years now, is the Park Avenue Princess Palette from Tarte. This is the chisel palette. Um, I think I let you guys know I had hit pan like on one of the powders up here, but now we're to three. One, two, three. And I have been loving this all over again this month. I've been playing with so many face palettes because BoxyCharm, we see you coming. Every time we turn around, there is a new face palette that we've been getting. At least I've been getting. I have a ton of face palettes. But all of a sudden, one day, after trying all of those again to remind myself how I feel, I went back to this one. And this is, I mean, it made me remember why I love it so much. And I clearly love it. Hit pan on it a lot. Um, I went into the shade Carrot this morning on my nose for contour and on my cheeks and my upper, like at the side of my face. If you have a more square or round face, if you go ahead and contour even up into here, that will help bring your face in, make you look a little bit more sculpted, give you those cheekbones that God forgot to give you. I feel that. I have that problem. Um, the chisel, the uh, the carrot shade works really well for me. But then I also like to jump into Princess Cut, obviously, because you see a little bit of pan there on it to kind of warm it up a bit. And then I loved going into these two um, matte powders up here to take with a damp beauty sponge and go kind of like carve out the cheekbones, go under the eyes here, go on the nose, on the forehead, just to brighten things up. It does a great job. I love this palette so much. I've been traveling with it again. And I said, this one reminds me, 
actually the other product reminds me more of this one because this one came first. The Clay Play Palette that we got from BoxyCharm, or at least I got from BoxyCharm, seems to have some duplicate products in here. So it's kind of like, man, I noticed I kept reaching for this, but I truly think it's because I knew it was essentially this. So, and I'm already seeing some pan progress on this, so I'm so excited to keep using this. And I'm, like I said, I did not have this much pan on it when I did my project pan update, what, uh, not even quite a month ago at this moment. So by January, you may see even more on it. I really love it. I can trust it. It does a beautiful blend. Even with all of the crazy skincare that I'm constantly trying right now because we get so much skincare right now with our subscription boxes, sometimes that can change the like base of my face with what I put on next and it'll really, it can either be choppy or muddy or not as seamless. I've yet to have that problem with this particular palette and my skin. So I, mm, this is an absolute fave right now. Fave, fave, fave. Okay, this is kind of obvious. So I almost didn't put this into my faves and fails because it's one of those things that now it's kind of like known in the beauty community. It's just one of the top setting sprays. Um, but I was like, no need to talk about it. No need. And then I ran out of it and was trying some other things in my collection. Mostly stuff I got from subscription boxes. And we all know what those are. Dewy. Sparkly. Shiny. And this girl is like, could we cut it some slack? Can I just make it last all day without adding more dew? So I had to go back out and repurchase the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I did get the duo set because it actually is cheaper if you did not know that. If you buy one, it's a certain set price. But if you end up buying two, it's actually cheaper for the quantity. So, uh, obsessed. Love it. And I know that's like a weird thing. I feel like that's a weird thing to add in, even though it's probably not. You're you're probably like, oh, these are also good setting sprays too. And there are really good other setting sprays on the market. This is just the one that I know with my weird skin this year going through um, surgical menopause the way that I am. This will hold all my ish together if I'm having a hot flash, if I'm not having a hot flash, if I'm going a little dry, if I'm feeling a little oily. I actually like to use it after I do the base face of the foundation, concealers, and powders. Spray it down and then do the other half of the makeup and then spray it down again to lock everything in and it really helps so it doesn't bunch with my fine lines or if I'm some face toucher like during the day if I'm on the laptop I'm always doing this don't ask why I just do this actually helps combat myself even sometimes and I just kind of missed it I didn't have it in my collection for a hot second and um, I needed it again that quickly so I had to mention it as a fave if I went out and repurchased it. Like, I literally left my house, went to the freaking mall in November. Nicole hasn't been to a mall in a while because I wanted to go to Ulta to buy this. That's, that's, that's an endorsement, right? Okay, so something that I'm not going to say is a fail, but this is going to be the only thing I really talk about, I think, for fails because I have that huge video coming for this big-ass declutter that I'm probably going to film either later today or tomorrow because i got to get all this stuff off my desk. It's a lot. Um, something else though that I, I'm not going to touch on in that video but wanted to touch on in this video is I loved CoverGirl mascaras back in the day and I'm talking pre-YouTube when I was just a drugstore shopper either at Walmart or you know Walgreens or whatever and I was just looking for makeup because I was still learning and growing. I used to love the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. This one is the waterproof one. I didn't mean to get the waterproof one. Um, but I I used to love this, but you guys know my feelings on mascaras are you have to open them, try them, and then let them, like fine wine, age. Have a moment to really get thicker and oxidize, because then they get a lot better. Right now I'm obsessed with the Tartist Tarte Mascara. It's in its prime for me at the moment, which is why this is actually what I'm wearing today. Um, but And this is all I've been using, but I knew this was going to die soon, because it's at its moment. It's at, that, that's at its peak, and we've all been there. We've peaked, and then we've crashed. So with this guy, I started using it. It just looks like she's wearing some mascara, but it's nothing special. So I'm trying to let it live its life to see what it's going to do for me in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for an update. Let me know if you like this mascara or not. Like I said, it's been a long time since I have even tried this. But right now, kind of just like, meh, it's okay. It's not terrible. Not great. Meh. All right, I'm not just going to say this because I've been on a very limited buy pretty much the past year, and these are where I really splurged, but these are the palettes that I have not stopped reaching for since I got them, mostly because I can either do a zhuzhy dressed up look 
or I could do a beautiful neutral but it still looks sultry sexy I can dress it up dress it down just do whatever I want it is the new Tati Beauty volume 1 palette that's upside down gosh Nicole act like you do this at least twice a week come on Tati Beauty volume 1 palette I think this baby is stunning I have been loving honestly I showed you guys in my first video how you could get a lot of colors from this but I have been doing a lot of the neutral looks I did this on my birthday and I've been doing this on my off filming days when I'm just running around on weekends with my husband if I just want to look nice put together and I feel like this gives that sultry sexy eye look because of the ritual matte shades and like the sequin shades too these are the ones that I like to go into to really deepen up my eye looks lately I feel like they've done a beautiful job of really just kind of giving it that not smoky but smoky eye look you know what I mean does that make sense where it's like that natural smoky eye look I feel like that really helps with it and the shade that I've been loving a lot in the mini controversy palette I'm still waiting for the big palette to come is the diet root beer I've actually started a lot of my eye looks with this one because to me I know it's called diet root beer but it's kind of like this really pretty um, more like peanut buttery shade in my mind that I like to put in first because it's got a different warmth property to it than anything in the Tati Beauty palette because the Soothe shade that I thought was going to be kind of a comparison for it is a bit lighter. It's a bit more um, cool toned compared to his warmer one here. This is the Tati Beauty. This one is the Shane Dawson one. So they're a little different. So, and I know that seems like like such a thing like it's beige on top of beige Nicole on top of beige are you at the DMV on your face like why is everything beige that's not a different thing but for me from my eye look for my hair color for my eye color for the way I like to do my makeup it's really become a look that I have reached for and done over and over and tried to perfect each time um for probably two straight weeks so therefore in my November faves it had to be in here and I need something to wipe off my fingers with hold on got it got it and that's just like the crease and outer corner piece. What I've been dying for is the Aura, the row here for Aura. This is the matte shade, and then I come up here into the sequin shade. So I'm not gonna lie, a lot of times I'll just jump over the matte shade and jump straight to the sequin shade and just pack that baby all over the lid. And I take it back into the crease because that gives, even though I have very large eyes, it makes all other eyes also just look popped. It makes your eyes come forward and everything else is just like that beautiful, sultry, smoky, like, ooh, it just looks so natural on you. And then sometimes like today, what I will do also is jump up here into the metallic because I told you her metallics are a little bit more shimmer, less metallic in my mind. Um, then I just top over it with that, just kind of like pack it on. And I do use my fingers for that method. I think that works the absolute best, especially if you are going to use her sequin row because it's not like the metallic row or the glitter row. It's really just there for the people outside that you're talking to, to deliciously see that dancing sparkle on your lid, but it's not too much and it looks very effortless. Whereas like the metallics and the glitters are obviously more like, boom, I want you to know there's some shimmer there. I've really been gravitating to those particular pieces for like two weeks. Again, I do warm it up sometimes with the story shades or, you know, obviously I said I like the ritual shades as well, but I've just, that's what I've been going towards for those beautiful, snatural looks. Snatural. I know that's something that, sh that I think Scott Barnes and Tati keep talking about is that snatural. That's what, that's, that's, that's this. I've also been uh, feeling like throwbacks for myself. Um, when I was still living in St. Louis and I was still in my big house, um, I fell in love with the Aquarius, um, by ColourPop and Kathleen Light's collab with their lip trio. And that's really what introduced me to ColourPop lippies. And I have been obsessed lately. I'm wearing one of them today and I think two others are in my purse. I had like six lippies in my purse over the weekend. Side note, total struggle. At that point, my husband was like, do I need to do an intervention? Like you have so many lip products in your handbag. I'm like, I know. I just, one day I needed this color, one day I needed that color and then it just snowballed. Today I'm wearing the shade Aquarius 2. To me this starts off really nude and then it kind of transitions into this little tinge of like a purple tone and then it warms itself up a bit. Sometimes I do like to put a gloss over the top of this and the one I tend to use from ColourPop is Fairy Floss. I'll just pop this on right now because I'm starting to feel a little dry. It's been a while since I put this on. And then it just kind of like complements it but also makes it a little bit less rigid. I prefer their satin liquid lip format. 
but I ran out of those, so I need to do a reorder. The other shade, though, that I've really been obsessed with is an OG ColourPop shade, and it's called Beeper. Are you familiar with the shade Beeper? Because I didn't shut up about it for probably a good eight months at one point on my channel when I first started. And it's a ColourPop lippy. I have been loving these a lot. Let me see if I can find Beeper really quick. Hold on. Found it. I think I actually have like two of these because um, I think I got them on a sale at one point. But it's, it's a deeper, warmer nude. So this is perfect for this time of year. It kind of just warms up the lip. It kind of depends on what I'm doing with my eyes and the rest of my face, depending on what lippy I go with. But this is also one that I have been reaching for a lot. Can I put this on top? Let's just see. Let's just be really extra and just do one more layer of another, another lippy. Now I have my own custom color. Not sorry. Ooh, something I have failed to mention, and I don't know if any of you have noticed or not, but it's with my background. Everybody say hi to the new pig. After, I think, a year and a half, maybe almost two years, borderline, we ended up opening up the other pig. He did not have um, a cork in him, so he was one that you kind of had to break. You had no choice to get out your cash. Um, so, But I really like having a little pig there, and I know a lot of you guys do too. So we got a fresh one that does have a little cork in it so we can keep him around longer. And I liked that he was a little bit more of a contrasty um, grayish shade with some pokey dots that match the room. So I forgot to mention him before, and now I have. Adam says he looks better put to the side so you can see his um, polka dots. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. He ends up moving around no matter what because if I end up bumping or moving him, sometimes he just he just does his own thing. And as far as some updates go for lifestyle, things that have just really transformed my month are really things that have also been happening here in my tiny beauty space. And if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you can follow me right here. It's free. It's easy. You can see what's going on with me behind the scenes here in my tiny house. It is the holiday season. I have already started doing the Christmas crap all over my house and things outside. So follow me there. You'll know all the stuff. But some of the stuff that's really been going on in here are some updates I've been doing to my beauty space. Even though it's a tiny beauty space, I'm always looking for ways to improve, have better storage. And a lot of you said that I, you think I'm really organized. I do my best. I Sometimes I don't feel like I'm the best organized person, but some of you let me know. I'm, I, I do a pretty good job, so thank you. Um, over here in this part of my beauty space, if you saw my beauty room tour, and if you haven't, I'll go ahead and link that above. Um, I did a full tour of here, but we were still kind of stuck on a couple different areas in the room when we first got here. Um, my husband actually installed shelves on this side of my, um, these are drawers here that we have our clothes in. Um, and then over here is where I keep my handbags. So my husband actually installed shelving for me because what we had done was some like racks that were really cute that you could like put them down and they could store all of your handbags but then I noticed all the bags started like piling on top of each other and it was just growing and growing so it just looked like a mass mess in there and in a tiny space that just doesn't look good so we ended up redoing that and he put in these beautiful storage shelves that really have helped and then there's a hat rack in there to hang up some of my fun little cute hats which is really helpful um, we've updated the dog room down over here lately, and I put a little picture in there that looks like they're puppy pictures, even though my fur kids are rescues. I don't, I didn't have them as puppies. I found this beautiful card that looked like my two dogs in puppy form. So I, of course, Pinterest style, ripped off the cover, framed it, and put it in there like a baby picture. Not sorry. I don't have kids. That's what I'm doing. Um, what was the other thing? We recently got a new rug that just came in yesterday, so I can't really show that to you at the moment, um, but maybe I'll show it to you after. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it there for sure. Um, for a rug for one sound barrier, because it kind of helps with echoey things. Luckily, the camera's really close to me, so I don't have too big of an issue with that. Um, but it's going to be nicer to have a rug in here. Oh, because of my new chair. I almost forgot. I used to sit for a solid year and a half. I sat on a stool with no back, working on my laptop and filming for you guys. I couldn't do that for very long, especially after my abdominal hysterectomy this year. I could not sit that long with that. So my husband actually did a ton of research. I have the sweetest, most, I mean, thoughtful husband. He went through all of these like nice office chairs because he wanted it to look good for my filming space, for my beauty room, but he also wanted it to be functional for me. And um, he found the perfect chair. I'll be inserting all these things and pictures here for you. But I am so grateful that we were able to get some things that are really starting to make me want to be in this space more, which is why now I need to clean it out and declutter it. So there are so many fun things going on. I'm, 
I'm just so excited this time of year. Even though I feel like this is a crazy busy time of year between my day job and I know I have all of these year-end videos to film that I haven't even feel like I've prepped for yet, I'm so excited because I feel like everything is like falling into place. And now it's time for my favorite part of this video, my monthly shout outs. You guys are my favorite part of the month so I love shouting you out and so many of you have gone above and beyond for me this month that I just have to thank you so much. The first person I want to thank is another small channel here on YouTube. This is Steph underscore blogs makeup. She tagged me on Instagram to let me know that she shouted me out as one of their favorite YouTubers to watch because she loves how I'm pretty thorough, I'm pretty consistent, and she just really likes my personality. Steph, thank you so much. I reached out to you on Instagram too, but I just want to thank you here. Guys, I'm going to be linking her channel below. Feel free to check her out. She is an absolute sweetheart and a makeup lover too. I, this month, and I've pointed these kind of things out on my Instagram stories as well, you guys have sent me like gifts and I don't know if it's because you knew it was my birthday or if it's just because you just wanted me to have some things but I mean you guys really made my birthday month so special and it all fell in like the same week of my birthday that's why I'm like I feel like you guys like knew and you did that on purpose I feel like you did Jackie, I shouted you out on my Instagram as well that you are so sweet to send me just this beautiful little care package and it's just got some amazing items in it. You know I love with a sweet little note and yes, I still have that note here in my beauty space. Even though I have a small tiny beauty space, I love when I hear from you guys and I do save everything because I just think that's... that's just... it makes me want to cry thinking about how you tell me I affect your day because you guys... You guys are a part of my week just as much as I'm a part of yours. And Sarah Delmar, I always feel like I'm going to say your name wrong, Sarah. I'm so sorry. You and I constantly talk on Instagram. You are a sweetheart. She even sent my husband that Glam Glow face wash that I told you guys. I was like, yeah, I like it. It's okay. It's kind of pricey. She had one from BoxyCharm and she was like, your husband likes this. I'm not using it take it. He was like, it's so nice someone thought of me. I know you talk about me on your channel, but I didn't think people would think, hey, I have this and I'm not using it. Let Use this for your husband. So sweet. And she sent me this whole, whole box of just so many amazing goodies. Um, right now, I just really want to recommend this dry shampoo that she sent me. This is the A-M-I-K-A Amka um, Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I have almost used this whole thing already and I feel like she just sent this little care package to me. It's amazing. Um, and right now with my hair the way it is because I'm six months post-op almost, um, that is when it is known that you, your hair starts to get really crazy after you've had, um, you know, been under anesthesia and I've kind of been having a lot of issues with, um, surgical menopause. So that has done a great job of giving me a little bit of lift and um, making me look like I've put together with my hair even when I've only done my makeup and just literally that in my hair. This has been a very long video. I feel like I just keep tangenting and I didn't even have a lot of fails for this video. So be sure to be subscribed and hit the bell to see that huge declutter that is right here that I can't wait to get rid of it all. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you happen to be new to my crazy little channel, hi new friends, I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun, loud, weird, unique videos I do every single week. Bye friends!